Welcome back gearheads. Today we're going over how to install LS swap adapter plates. It's something easy but I want to go over it because it's also easy to get wrong. How do I know this? Because the first time I use them I put them on backwards. Alright so let me show you what we got. These are the one inch setback plates. These plates are perfect for GM swaps. They'll put your engine and transmission in a position to where you're able to reuse your stock dry shaft. They put it perfectly back to where as if you had an old small buck Chevy back in there. This is the adapter plate and this is what it looks like. It'll come with your mounting hardware. You got the two regular bolts here for the rear. These beveled in areas so that this Allen sits flush so that way the clamshell can go on top of it. These clamshells usually have an indention in the middle that sticks out. What we do about that, you can either cut it out or what I normally do is behind each bolt I'll put two washers. Excuse me, between the clamshell and the plate, two washers. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bolt this plate up to the block and then I'll go ahead and bolt the cam clamshell onto it and you'll see how it goes. So we start by holding the adapter plate in position. You see you got the, the boss here where the original LS mounts motor mount mounted. Hold it in position over the holes. What I like to do also is take a little small drop of a Loctite, put it on the threads just make sure these don't vibrate out. Go ahead and thread the bolts in. You see the groove here in the top of the plate? Not all plates have that groove. If you don't have that groove there, you see this boss, you'll hit that boss. So when you try to find plates, try to get some that have the groove to go around the boss. Otherwise you'll be trimming something to try to make these fit. That's also why you see these three holes sit a little bit lower than the top holes. A lot of plates will have them up high. If it's up high, it's going to hit that boss and you have to cut the boss off. Now we take our clamshell, place it over those three holes. What you'll notice is, you might not be able to see, but this bottom boss right here is hitting the bottom of the clamshell. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take a little notch out of this clamshell to make room for that boss. I'll go ahead and cut that out and I'll be right back. I'm back now with the clamshell. I've cut a section out of the bottom. I said a little piece. I went ahead and cut out a big piece. Uh, I, I tend to do that sometimes. But either way, it'll be fine. And I'll put it in the position. And you'll see now that it clears the boss. Let's go ahead and grab our bolts and get this started. Get a bolt in. Put my two washers on the back side. Remember the two washers on the back side are to make clearance for the lump in the back of the clamshell. Start another bolt at the top. Two washers. This other corner here too. Two washers. Got them all started. Let's spin them down. When you're putting these bolts in, make sure that the bolts aren't going through and hitting any of the webbing in the block. You don't want to crack it that way. Could have put a drop on of a red Loctite on these bolts as well. I haven't done it yet. That's it. This is how you use the LS swap adapter plates. These are one inch setback plates with the old GM small block Chevy SBC clamshell. Once you put it on like this, 
this engine will fall into place just as if it was the old small block Chevy. That's it. Installing LS swap adapter plates is as easy as that. You do the other side and you're ready to drop it into the vehicle. If y'all like what I'm doing here and you want to see more, hit the like button below. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more LS swap tips, tricks coming up. Stay tuned. Keep on wrenching.